Today, I'm going to show you my butt extension. And by that, I mean how I extend rod butts. This is rod building. Roll the intro. I'm Gary Benny, English rod builder living in Sweden. I've been building rods for many years, and now you're going to join me in my workshop going through tips, tricks, techniques, tools of the trade, all the things you want to know when you're coming to build a rod. We're gonna drink a lot of tea, so join me on the ride. Let's have some fun. This is Rob Building, let's do this. So what's the easiest way to do this or what is the right way to do this? Now, of course, there's you know many ways we could do this, but this guy, he really wants to keep the split grip. He wants to keep the logo. So basically it's a simple operation of removing this rear grip and then applying an extension to the into the rear of the rod and then making a new grip. We're gonna have to sand it up maybe, maybe a different butt cap. We'll look at that in a minute. But the first things first, we're gonna start cutting into it, see what we've got to work with, and uh, then we'll start sizing it up. Just cut away the EVA from the butt. It's only a small piece here. You see it's flicking away there. Cutting away from yourself, of course, so you don't damage yourself. When you get to that stage, turn the rod around. This is a little bit tricky because we haven't got much rod blank to remove it, so just go very, very careful. Slide a sharp blade down to that winding check there. Remember, we don't want to damage that winding check. We're gonna leave that one in position. Go very careful down to it. Uh, if we had to do more wrapping, we could remove that little wrap there and, and do a new winding check. So it's not the end of the world, but we're trying to keep this cost down for this guy. Scrape away all the excess glue. Clean it off a little bit. We'll turn it back around. Keeping the blade nice and flat to the blank so you don't dig into the carbon. Making sure to remove all the glue up to the back of the winding check there so we get a nice fit for the new grip. There we go. It's looking pretty clean. Got a bit in the back there. We could just put the blade in the back and just, just give it a little turn, see if it's gonna come out. Right, let's get a bit of sandpaper and clean it off. So with your little bit of uh, sanding pad, just take it and very gently just clean up that area. All you're trying to do is just sort of get rid of any sort of surface glue and everything and just make it a nice smooth finish. That's gonna make it easier for the glue to adhere to it. Now we're ready to do an extension. Gonna size it up and see what bit of carbon we need to cut. So roughly 9.9 .9 millimeters. Let's go find some carbon. Keeping scraps of broken blanks is really good, uh, especially when it's good quality carbon fiber like this. It's very, very stiff. And you can see I've got some different sizes here. Uh, and I just keep it in a bin out the back. And all you wanna do now is just basically look for the right size. And this looks like it's gonna be about right. So we know that the butt is tight around there and we need about five centimeters out of the back. So this section looks really good. And uh, we can clean that up a little bit. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little mark here, like so. It's gonna move that one out of the way. And this little mark now, we know we need to cut on the top side. So. I really always recommend that if you're gonna extend five centimeters, you need to have exactly the same or double on the inside. So realistically, for strength, you wanna have 10 centimeters on the inside. Now that's because you're gonna have a pivot point on the butt where you're gonna be dragging on it and you don't wanna be cracking the carbon at the back. So I recommend you extend it. So we're gonna cut 10 centimeters that side and five centimeters that side. Uh, but before we cut this one, we're gonna do this and just dry fit it and see where we're at. We got all the cutting gear ready. Uh, we're gonna mark up now exactly that measurement we need. So we know there was our mark and I wanna do 10 centimeters higher than that one. So I'm just gonna very simply mark up here and then I'm gonna mark my five centimeters down below and just again on that spot. So now I know there's my three marks. I need to get ready. So as easy as that. Um, got a bit of cleaning to do here. Let's move that out of the way. And we're just gonna clean off any of that old thread that's on that blank there, just so it's a smooth fit when it goes inside. That's like so. I'm gonna take it and insert it in the butt. And that is a perfect fit. Just gonna test for wobble. I mean, the taper fits absolutely magic. So if there was a little bit of a wobble in there, you'd feel you might have to put a bit of tape up on the top, uh, but this one fits absolutely wonderfully. 
Let's go check it again. That's a really, really nice fit. But you see, when we push it down now, we can see it goes a little bit further. We're just gonna push it, it snugs up, not too much. We don't wanna crack the back here. Just gonna do it where it snugs up again. Yeah, and we're somewhere like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get a bit of tape. I'm gonna mark on the back there where I want to stop. And then I'm gonna drop it out and we're gonna measure five centimeters back from that. And there we have it, our section of extension carbon. Now we're gonna leave that on the back there um, because we want that as a stopper when we go inside the back of the rod here. I'm gonna slide that in, it snugs up to the tape perfectly and we've got that five centimeter extension. It's gonna be absolutely perfect. Our total length is gonna be exactly what the customer wanted. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. So now the next thing to do is we need to glue that extension in. We also need then to measure how long a grip we need to be putting on the back. Um, one thing I'd like to mention at this point though, is if you were doing a heavy duty, like a pike rod, musky rod, or something extension on the back is, and they're doing quite long ones, you need to think there's gonna be a lot of pressure on this joint. That's why I've put a bit more carbon up in the back because I wanna try not to split the carbon. On a small five centimeter extension, I don't need to worry about reinforcing this joint over here, but should it be like a heavy duty pike rod, like I said, casting 200, 300 grams maybe, I would actually consider putting a whip of D-grade thread up over this section completely and then epoxying it. That's just gonna give it that extra bit of strength to wrap around the carbon. But for this one here, for light baits, this is only up to 30 grams, this rod. This is gonna be absolutely strong enough, no problem. So when we've got our five minute epoxy ready to glue it up, it's very simple. Uh, you just wanna take some of that glue and you just wanna pop it inside the blank. You can use the extension because you're gonna be covering it in glue anyway. And just keep filling that area in there like so, putting a lot of glue up into the butt of the rod. And then what I'll do is I just sort of like rub it around the section like so and just push it in. Making sure you pick up all the glue, pushing it inside. In. Now there will be a little bit of an air pocket in there. You'll see when I push it in now, it will start to expel a little bit of glue. Just go in and out, pumping it inside the butt like so. And then the reason we have the tape at the bottom there is because when you've got this like a lubricant, you can be tempted to push it a little bit too far. So you just wanna just keep teasing it down like so, inching it inside. And then when you reach the tape, just give it a little twist. Watch it to make sure it sits in position. Another little twist. That's perfect, now we can wipe it off. And there we have it. Leave that for five minutes, let it set, and then we'll put the grip on. Okay, so uh, we have glued the extension in the back of the rod there, and um, now we're ready to fit our EVA grip. We've already sized it up, so we got the size cut exactly, and we made this one on the lathe, uh, just took a bit of EVA with the right dimension in the middle to fit the back here. We got lucky on that one, and then just done a really nice sort of tapered shape there. Uh, but the one thing you'll notice here is you do have this step down, so you've got where the blank dimension changes, and there really isn't anything you can do about that. Um, some people will We'll try to sort of fill it with uh, other, another sleeve of carbon and things. But to be honest, the best thing you can do when you're doing like an extension like this is to arbor it up with some tape. It's not very much. If it was a very large extension, then I would consider doing something else, but it's literally a millimeter. So we're just gonna need a little bit of tape on there to make sure this fits snug the whole way and we get a good adhesion with the glue. Um, then we're gonna set in the butt cap and it'll be finished. So um, I'm gonna crack on with that and I'll show you when it's done. So there we have it, the finished result. I think it looks really smart. Um, you wouldn't even know that there was an extension, to be honest, would you? It looks like, uh, almost like it did with the rear EVA. We put a nice butt cap on the end there. 
and it's now the exact length that the customer asked, just past the elbow. Looks absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I'm sure he's gonna be really happy. So that's another one. Any questions you've got, please mention in the comments below. Let us know what you wanna do. We do read the comments and we are trying to do stuff that you mention. If you're gonna ask us to do something, who knows, maybe we do a vlog on that also. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our new content that's upcoming. This is Rob Building. I'm Gary Benny. I've had a really good fun time today. And that was a wrap.